Ukrainian hero. Please welcome on this stage Oleg Sinsov. Sit down, please. Hello, everybody. The organizers for being invited to participate in the ceremonial opening of this forum. And I, told, I was told that I can talk about whatever I wish. And this is what I always do. But I always express the things I think about, and I'm always trying to talk about the most important things in life. And this is what is all going to happen today. And I'm going to talk about a jar, a plastic jar, and, and what should it contain. And I would like to explain now what I mean. Uh, the place where I spent the last five years of my life in prison, each little thing is so important important for an individual and uh, nothing is being thrown away and uh, we are trying to adjust things to uh, you know our habits and uh, I had a plastic jar uh, to keep my tea there which is very important in prison I had uh, two notebooks blue and yellow and I, it was not intentional I was just uh, given them within the first two months of my imprisonment and I cut two stripes uh, of these uh, notebooks and I put them on my plastic jar and wrote uh, two words in them, glory to Ukraine. And I put it uh, at the most exposed part of my uh, cell. And I was traveling all over Russian Federation into different prisons and I always put the plastic jar at the most ex uh, conspicuous place. And they were trying uh, to destroy it, uh, to stump over my uh, my my jar, my Ukrainian flag, and I was trying to uh, to fight for it. Well, I was not a participant of the military actions. I was not in Lovaisk. I was not in that bus. I was arrested two days prior to the military action started, but everybody has his and her own destiny. And it was my struggle, my small struggle, one uh, on one with this awful system. Nobody saw it. I was fighting for myself, for my dignity, for my country, and for these two stripes, yellow and blue. What is the bank? This is this jar. And back in prison, uh, the Russian prisoners have uh, those, uh, you know, like uh, like badges. They are usually put on here. And uh, this is my uh, badge. And this red stripe means that uh, the, the prisoner is inclined to flight and that he is most uh, dangerous. I took it uh, f as a souvenir. And in some armies of the world, uh, there is a traditional rule when somebody, when, when the uh, military man dies or is being killed, uh, his commander takes his uh, uh, just uh, token to know that the person has died. And this is a very sad rule, a very sad tradition, but I would like to start a new tradition now. I would like very much that this uh, jar, as soon as possible, would be full of uh, the badges of those who are still in the Crimea, in Russia, in Donbass, uh, and uh, in the Crimea. Mr. President, do everything possible to fill this jar with those badges as soon as possible. <laughs> 